Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play UFO Aftershock. Right. <clears throat> Let's start this fresh and proper, not half the uh, at the end of a recording session. Because I don't think clearly. Right. We have conquered our first Earth base. That much is established. Stuttgart. Yeah, finally. I can make my bases any way I like. Because no longer is a base restricted to just military functions, research or engineering. Nope. Whatever buildings I can fit on there will do the job. Now right now, of course, that doesn't really mean much because I can only build the basic weapon factory. And we will need one, so I'll build one. Uh, let's get back to the geosphere. Alright. Similarly, the research is also no longer limited to just uh, one for the research and one for the engineering bit, although the engineering is also uh, building stuff. Nope, you can build, you can research as much as you want as long as you have the research facilities for it. And the more research facilities you have, uh, the faster things go. Uh, with, the, with the notable exception being the Laputa lamp, because you only ever get one of that, which makes the Laputa lamp basically the, um, it's, uh, the pacing of the game. Not much pacing, but a limited amount of pacing. So let's start filling this out. I'll just get uh, the basic stuff going. Let's see, library analysis can wait already. So basic will have a lab. Medical lab, energy lab, and jet propulsion lab, and then the analysis. That'll take a few days, and that's fine. Alright, we can also do some diplomacy with the only faction we know, it's basically the humans. I can ask for people. They only give me two, and since I don't have a very good relationship, they already only give me level ones, which can be good or not, depends on what on my needs. They will only cost me 50 low tech for each to buy. I have that, but I don't really need that more people now, do I? Let's check that for a moment. My squad is currently four people and I can get a fifth one. So what do I need? Right, so I've got my basic sniper. And... Let's see, you... You can be decent as a healer, I guess. Hmm... Yeah, and beyond that, that's really the extent of um, how I'm gonna get my units done, because, well, there's so many trainings you can do. So many synergies, also. What's going to be between the Commando and the Stalker, I think. Yeah, because of the Commando equipment. Uh, because at the third level of Stalker, Commando equipment, uh, Increases triples the chance of scoring a critical hit. Which is useful. If limited. Because while this game is much better than Aftermath, in my opinion, it's not perfect. But none of these games are. <clears throat> However, at the moment, we only really have uh, Central Europe here, the HRE. Although that also includes apparently Prague and Poland in a single region. Or um, the Czech Republic and Poland. But never mind, I'll just name these things as I go along. Probably anachronistically, that's fine. I really don't know all that many places in the world anyway. But anyway, there's more uh, to this. But I currently can't do anything, so let's just speed up time. Well, our first encounter with the humans on Earth went pretty well. Considering how surprised they probably were to see us, offering us a permanent base in their territory is certainly more than we could have expected. We've already laid out the base perimeter. To take a look, select the base region on the Earth hologram and activate the detail view in the lower right corner. Did that? Our first priority for base structures is a factory that can produce weapons and equipment to support our ongoing missions. The equipment we brought with us won't last forever. 
We should also think about building labs to analyze equipment and information we acquire on our missions. To add buildings to the base, double-click the base detail view or click the base button. In order to start construction, we need to gather resources, specifically old earth technology. The villagers we've met have agreed to share some of their material with us. We're keeping track of the human material units we have and how fast we are gaining or losing material in the top center of the screen so that we always have an idea of how well we're progressing in this regard. And that much is true. Basically, old earth tech or basic tech, high tech and alien tech. Uh, usually you'll find humans in charge of uh, the basic tech, cyborgs in charge of the high tech and psionics in charge of alien tech on the map. Usually. There are the odd ex the, the exceptions here and there, but mostly that's accurate. Anyway, let's keep the time flowing. I'm just waiting for the game to give me another prompt. I mean, that is part of the things, uh, those interruptions just now. Now is, Right now it's just tutorial missions. Later on those become story mission bits. And they tend to drag on a little bit too long for my likes. But I can understand why they're there. In the meantime though, there's not much I can really do. I need to wait until something is finished building. So let's just go fast. Actually I should be able to do that with the buttons. Alright, so Neil is healed again. Yep. Ooh, successfully completed the library floor plan. Which I can now see in the research. Which opens up the school floor plan. That's... Yeah, that's something you... Really, um, sometimes I wish this game would give me a better oversight on what was technology I have yet to research and which I have no access to, uh, or which I have no access to yet. Because, especially later on in the game, I am constantly guessing whether or not I should demolish some labs to make space for the ones that I need more. But I do want all technology, effectively. However. Since we now have access to that uh, basic lab, or knowledge building, let's build a library which increases the knowledge support. Now it is mentioned in the game in the glossary somewhere that uh, increasing your knowledge uh, also increases the amount of resources you get from the region. Yeah. He mentioned here. It's not actually told to you in game, so you have to read all this stuff. It's good to know. Essentially, you want the highest level of knowledge in every region, although not necessarily for basic tech. Alright, so we can now do that. I know that. Alright, finish the construction. Uh, let's carry on. Actually, let's slow down. And manufacture stuff. Alright, so we can make weapons in the form of light armor and light helmets. Well, that's fine. Let's go up there. And let's see. If I wanted to ask for people, you'll give me either Sarah or Ramiro. Well, I am looking for someone who's good at mechanical. Don't really have any one of those. Mm. You're both average with mechanical. Let's see. Which is good for mechanical? Uh, it doesn't tell me. Now I guess I'll just have to find that out. Uh, you also have a fairly good throwing arm, which might be useful. I guess I'm gonna hire you. And that'll be my, all my hires for now. Let's just focus on getting extra speed. Finish the construction of a library. Indeed we have. Not much else I can build right now. Search-wise, we are still two hours away from the next lab. We have uncovered a new area over here, which is owned by the humans. 
I'll just leave them be for now. Let's wait until we get a pop-up. Right, so, great, carry on. Build a new lab. Basic weapons lab. Now, the weapons lab has an operation cost, which I currently cannot really afford. I mean, I have the basic tech, but the advanced tech I do not have. So I really hope to find that at some point. Alright, so I have access to new research, the ordinance floor plan, which is... Um, that's more important. Actually, that's more important than most of the other stuff. Because I need to be able to uh, make ammo. Now, I'm basically waiting for an emergency call. Let's put Ramiro in. Alright, you have good close range. I could give you a deagle. I have some ammo for it. Actually, that's not, probably not a bad idea. That's all the ammo. And you can also have one of these. In the manufacturing, we are still some way away from actually making a bit of armor, that's fine. Because for now, there is no active alien presence. There's passive alien presence in the transgenons and the, uh, well, the odds particular and still wandering about on the surface. They are really not much of a problem. But there's no active alien invasion going on. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have a lab. So we can make basic human weapons. Eventually, three days. Now yeah, we'll be busy for a while, but until we get more bases, that's not much of a priority. Also, the reason why I'm not really going for this uh, area is because this is a brand new area that I have no real need for, because it is not connected to a base. Right, so we have the medical floor plan that has opened up nothing. So let's go back to Stuttgart. Build a medical lab, which has even more costs. Which we'll just eat because we'll have no we have no choice. We need to research. But yeah, I basically need to find the main base that connects to the Russia territory. Which is uh, Moscow, most likely, if I remember correctly. Alright, come on, give me something useful. Explore this territory. Ah, We've something. picked up a distress call from the human faction known as the Psionics. The human villagers we encountered on our earliest missions described the Psionics as dangerous mutants. But it's probably in our best interest to help everyone who seeks our assistance. And that much is true. Center and pause. Right, so the wild reticulants infest this province and local inhabitants are seeking our help to eradicate them. The inhabitants need us to conduct an extraction operation. One of the locals is stranded in the area. We must locate the trap unit, lead that individual to safety, and provide protection against reticulants that have been spotted in the vicinity. The person you rescue will join the team once you uh, reach his position. Well, her position in this case. So you must reserve a free slot for her. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just take my base team. Launch. Oh, crap. Um, I'll just land over there. That's probably a good idea. Welcome, visitor from the sky. I am the designated speaker for the Augmented Ones. What's what happened on here face? 50 years ago? We do not know for sure. Whatever the cause, the biomass appeared and then suddenly died in order to bestow upon us our powers of the mind. Before the death of the biomass, there were no Augmented Ones on all of Earth. This terrible cataclysm served a higher cause to create a better species of human. Disagree! I mean, having the Psyonox is fantastic. To an extent. They are sterile, however. 
so not much of a better race of humans now, is it? I'd like my humans to be able to breed. Ready, sir. And that's the same with the other faction as well, which is why the Psyonics are only female On and the Cyborgs are only male. Although that'll become apparent later. Uh, let's see. Objective. We need to locate a stranded person, which is inside. Well, I'm gonna take the whole team. Here I go me. again. Most of the Moving time out. you don't need to do that, but because we're going into the UFO here. On yeah, my way, that's yeah, kinda I'm necessary. Going. Still kind of impressive, these UFOs. How much they remained intact. Alright, that's What do you want me to do now? Where's the entrance? Right. Over here we go. There. Well, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Done. Alright. So, here I go again. I don't think, uh, one we're looking for is over here, or he's upstairs. Uh, he's upstairs. All right. What do you want me to What's do next? now? How do I get upstairs? Where's stairs? Oh, here's some stairs. Right. Here we go. I mean, I could also use the teleporter, but I have no idea where that goes. Amazing, the teleporter still works. After 50 years of lying here in ruins. Alright, let's move up. Orders, yep. come in. again. Now, with there being wild reticulants around, I just want to take every precaution I can. Heading out. Alright, gone. Alright, can't go here. Have to go through the portal. Yeah, 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 I'm go. going. Now, I say I don't know exactly where that goes. Usually the teleportals go up or down the level. Yeah. Portal goes over there. Since that's not where we want to go. Well, I'm done. Here we go again. We'll just go over here. Right. Here we go. That's this. I mean, later on, the, the uh, teleportals become uh, much more tactically, tactically advantageous. But right now, I just prefer to avoid any encounter and just make contact with the Psyonix. So we have well, another faction. Command. Command. I go again. Heading yeah, out. Yeah, I'm going. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Just find the person there. Local Sionok, she has a parala paralysis projector. Paralysis projector. Yes, which sir. Is useful, but On my way again. Again. not immediately uh, needed at the moment. Other than that, she doesn't really have anything. I can't check her inventory. Orders, Commander. Matter. What do you want me to do now? Right, yeah, here going. we go. Right. Let's On just my find way. our way out. Let's head straight for the pod. Moving out. There. I hope none of the reticulants have bothered to wander this way. At least I don't think so. Despite having a psychic in the team, I can't use her sight, which is a pity. Well, she's even a stalker, so she can sneak There's really one. well. Ah, gone. Heading Here out. I go again. Right. Yeah, who's seen one? Neil has seen one. Ready. Have you seen one, Neil? Kiss him goodbye. I'll take it down, Neil. What now? Uh, it's David, you have no shot. Heads up. Uh, of course they all come out of the woodwork now. Yes, sir. Again? Nice. Good to go. What? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Ready, sir. 
That's not possible. All right, then just move closer what? then. And we'll continue this next time. Thank you for watching.